Namaste yogis, my name is Lisa and welcome to my channel. Today I want you to really take into consideration this time with yourself on the mat so that you really can connect to your true nature. So we're going to start in easy seat pose today. So I just want you to cross just right at the mid calf. So whatever foot is comfortable for you to begin. And I want you to just bring your hands into heart center, allowing the thumbs to touch the breastbone. Let the shoulders relax down your back and close your eyes. And just connect to your breath and just breathe. Slowly and deeply. And with each breath, see if you can relax just a little bit more. As you scan your body from head to toe, notice how you feel today. And setting your intention for your practice, allowing yourself to connect to your true nature. Once you've set that intention, continue with that ujjayi breath, all of the breath coming through the nose, all of the breath exhaling through the nose. See as you breathe, see if you can send the breath not only to the front and back of the body, but expand out from side to side. Like your belly is a balloon filling up with fresh air and as you exhale, letting go of anything that's no longer serving you mentally, physically, or emotionally. And once you've set your intention and you're ready to practice, let's open up the eyes, sweep the arms around to the side, and gather this good energy. And I want you to today to grab your elbows, just like we do in ragdoll. So we make this box around our head I want you to sit down into the sitting bones and to start to elongate through the spine. So usually I have you think of like, thinking of a string coming from the crown of your head lifting up to the sky, but today I want you to think of that string from your sitting bones. So really as you ground down from that point, start to elongate through the spine, relax your shoulders, and then I just want you to start to lean over to one side. Still making the box, tacking down through the sitting bones. Maybe looking up if that feels okay on your neck. And I want you to really focus on opening up through the ribs now. Continue to send the breath into the side body. And then slowly come back to center. Whatever arm is on top, switch the arm. Start to elongate, grow your spine, get taller, make space and then exhale, fold to the other side. And then again, breathe into the lungs. Separating the lungs. Looking up if that feels okay. And then slowly come back to center, release the hands, let's come to all fours, allowing the fingers to spread nice and wide. And we'll take some cat and cows. So I want you to just keep the tops of the feet down today so that you can really focus on your cow pose. So send the sitting bones behind you and open up through the collarbones, press down into the earth. When your out breath comes, start to round your back, draw the belly up and in, gaze towards the back of your mat. Inhale, cow pose again. Allow the neck to lengthen, tips of the ears up. On the out breath, draw the chin in towards the chest, push the earth away, allow the pelvis to draw down towards the knees. One more time, cow pose, inhale, exhale, cat pose. Come to a neutral spine, send your right leg behind you, and as you lift up through the foot, I want you to press down through the toes and then send your left arm in front of you, spinal balance. Feel your right inner leg line lift up to the sky, stretch out a little bit more and let's wake up the core, draw the elbow to the outside of the knee and dome your back. 
Inhale, extend and lengthen. Exhale, elbow to knee, dome your back. One more time, reach up in both directions. Draw the elbow to the outside of the knee. Now, from your spinal balance, take your left arm to the side, reaching all the way to the left. And then if your coffee table is in the way, <laughs> maybe you can take your leg, the height of your coffee table, towards the right. Waking up into this awkward spinal balance. Come down the middle. Now bend your knee as the heel draws up towards the sky. Reach back with that left hand and see if the hand and the foot can connect. Roll the shoulders down your back. And then just start to look to the left, taking this twisted crossbow. See if you can stretch that right heel a little bit higher to the sky. And then softly release, come back to spinal balance. Place the hand and foot back to the ground, switch sides. Left leg goes behind you, right arm in front of you. Stretch the fingers away, let the toes point to the earth. Connect back to the breath if you've lost it. Inhale to elongate, get longer, elbow to the outside of the knee. Empty the breath. Inhale, elongate, reach out. Elbow to knee. One more time, reach out further. Elbow to the opposite of the knee. Stretch out. This time, take the right arm to the side. At the same time, draw the left leg to the left side of the mat. Keep the toes flexed. See if you can lift the left foot. <laughs> Maybe it's the couch this time that's in the way. Come back down in the middle, bend your knee, press the heel up to the sky, take the thumb down and reach back. And maybe you can find the hand to the foot. Roll the shoulders down your back, widen through the collarbones, and then start to open and twist. Keep extending that left leg a little bit higher to the sky. Last breath. And then slowly come to plank pose as you press the feet down into the earth. Bellies draw up and in. The gaze goes forward. Let's just lift the left foot off the ground. Just a few inches. See how that feels. Place it back down to the earth. Float the right legs off the earth. Pull the belly up and in. Slowly bend your elbows, come to your tiptoes, and let's lower for five. Slow four. Slow three. Connect down, keep your hands next to your rib cage. three cobras. Inhale, just open the heart space. Exhale, melt it back to the earth. Inhale, maybe go up a little bit higher. Exhale, melt it down. Last time, inhale, either stay up, widen through the collarbones, or maybe lift the legs off the ground, upward facing dog. Now from the belly, lift up and back, downward facing dog. So it's your first one. So let's just walk our dog, bend the right knee, bend your left knee, to see how the legs feel today. Lift both heels high up to the sky. Exhale, draw the heels straight back. Lift the sitting bones high. Melt your heart to the earth. And then walk your hands back to your feet today. I want you to take your hands behind your back body. Interlace the fingers if possible or just keep your hands at your waist. Lift your heart up and then exhale, start to fold forward. Let your head relax, let your neck relax. Soften the knees as much as you need. 
Let any tension release from your shoulders. Relax your hands down, bend your right knee, place your right hand towards the left in front of the foot, towards the corner, bend your right knee, keep your left leg straight, twist open, reach that left arm to the sky, and open the left side of the chest. Release the left hand down, bend your left knee now. Walk your left hand slightly in front of that right foot. Bend now through the left leg and start to turn and twist. Opening up through the right side of the chest. Slowly release and then start to come back to your downward facing dog. Take your hands like they're paw prints bringing it towards the center. Feel the side bodies lengthen and connect to your breath. Look forward, either walk, float, or bend your knees. Hop your feet to your hands. Inhale, lift up halfway. Exhale, forward fold. Root to rise as we sweep the arms around us and bring your hands into heart center. Let's take two some rounds of sun salutation A. Sweep the arms all the way up, lift the chest, lift the heart. Exhale, forward fold. Lift up halfway. Plant your hands, step back, high plank. Slowly lower to cobra or take your upward facing dog. Inhale, sweep up. Exhale, down dog. Three breaths. After that third round, bend your knees. Look forward, hop your feet to your hands quietly. Lift up halfway. Fold deep. Rise. Sweep the arms. Hands to heart center. Again, sweep up, inhale. Exhale. Halfway lift, inhale. Empty the breath, chaturanga. Upward dog, inhale. Downward dog, exhale. Three rounds of breath. Bend your knees, hop your feet to your hands. Halfway lift, inhale. Forward fold, empty. Bend your knees now, chair pose, Utkatasana. Sweep your arms around, feel the fingers reach up. Get heavy in the heels. Sink down a little bit deeper. See if you can sink down a little bit more. Stretch up, exhale, forward fold. Halfway lift, inhale, high to low plank, exhale. Upward dog, inhale, downward dog, exhale. Step your right foot forward for warrior one. Spin your back foot flat and inhale, feel this feeling of being able to come and connect to your true nature. So this warrior one is a forward-facing warrior, facing towards the front of your mat. Sink into the legs, get low, stretch high, look up, open up through your throat. Exhale, release, high to low plank. Upward-facing dog, inhale. Downward facing dog, exhale. Left side, warrior one, big step. Get low, ground down, and then feel your nature, feel your true self. Think of a time that really you were
were so happy, maybe as a child, like really what brought you true happiness, see if you can connect to that feeling. Ground down a little bit deeper, stretch up a little bit higher, and then exhale, release. Vinyasa through, high to low plank, upward facing, downward facing. I want you to come forward to plank pose now. And then I want you to roll into Vashisthasana. And we're just gonna flow with this. Left arm up to the sky. Exhale, come back to center, plank. Draw onto the left edge. Vashisthasana, press the left hand down. Right arm up to the sky, open the chest. Come back to plank. Roll to the right. Inhale, open up. Exhale, come back to plank. Left side, connect. Lift the hips high, open up. Exhale, come back to center. One more time. Roll to the right. Stretch and reach up. Come back to center. Roll to the left. Inhale, stretch up, reach up. Slowly come back to center, high to low plank, upward facing, inhale, downward facing, exhale, Virabhadrasana one, warrior one, step forward, inhale, sweep up, on the exhale, open up, warrior two, feel the arms reach both front and back, flip your palms, let the shoulders Relax down, even push the shoulders slightly back, and then flip the palms down and look to that right middle finger. Right palm flips up, reverse your warrior inhale, sweep up and back. Exhale, partial Konasana, side angle pose. So I brought my blocks today. You can use your hand on the block, the earth, or keep your elbow on your thigh. I want you to start with the left arm reaching up to the sky. Feel your legs as you hug the right hip underneath you. Take your left hand behind your back for a half bind. If this is feeling okay, drop your right elbow down. Reach the right arm underneath your right hamstring and maybe you can connect the hands for the full bind. If you have the full bind, release the full bind. Take the arm back up to the sky now stretch the left arm all the way over your ear and look towards the left middle finger. Plug down into that pinky edge of the left foot and then from the navel start to turn and twist open. Breathe here. Last full breath in your extended side angle. And exhale, turn to the side and we'll come into wide leg straddle. Line up the hands with the feet, lift the chest. Exhale, draw the heart through the legs, bring the crown of the head towards the earth. If you can see your elbows, try to keep your elbows at a 90 degree bend and lift the sitting bones up to the sky. Take one more breath in your Prasarita Padottanasana. If you practice inversions and want to take a headstand here, that's always an option. If the head, crown of the head, you're directly on the crown of the head, you can keep the elbows bent and maybe the feet start to float up. And know if you don't take the feet off the ground, know that you're still getting the benefit of the inversion with the head below the heart. Slowly, if you're 
upside down. Gently, with control, using your core, bring your feet to uh, the earth. And then we'll all slowly walk our hands back to the front of the mat, your in-runner's lunge. Plant your hands, step back, vinyasa through. High to low plank. Upward facing, inhale. Downward facing, exhale. Left side, step forward, Virabhadrasana one. Rise. Open up with your breath, warrior two. So reach with the arms, making sure that that left heel intersects with the right arch. Look over that left middle finger. Again, feel the shoulder heads slightly draw to the sides of the mat, back, and then relax your shoulders down. Breathe steadily, connect to your true nature, what lights you up, what brings you joy, what brings you happiness. Let the left palm flip up, reverse your warrior, on the inhale, lean up and back. And then on the out breath, extend inside angle. Again, maybe elbow comes here on the thigh. Maybe you use your block. Maybe the hand connects down. But let's start with the arms reaching at like 6 o'clock and 12 o'clock. Let your legs just start to feel the shape. Take your right hand to your lower back. Like send love to your lower back with your healing hand. If you want to go for the full bind, you did it on the other side, drop your elbow towards the earth, reach underneath that left hamstring with the left arm. What I find is I see a lot of people drop the right side of the chest to the ground. So open up through this right side. If you have the full bind, release the full bind. Keep your legs. Reach the right arm over your ear. Look at that right middle finger. And then I want you to stretch from the fingers all the way down to the right edge of the foot. Start to turn and twist the torso up to the sky. Feel the sensation rising in the body. Breathe through that discomfort. And then exhale slowly. We're just going to vinyasa here. Step your left foot back to meet your right. High to low plank. Upward facing dog, inhale. Downward facing dog, exhale. Let's take a lion's breath here. So I want you to roar so loud that everyone in your house can hear it. So you'll stick out your tongue on the out breath. You'll look up at your third eye. Inhale, lion's breath out. Ha! Lion's breath again. Exhale. Ha! One more. Inhale, lion's breath. Ha! Did you scare somebody in your house? I think I scared all these golfers here. <laughs> Slowly look forward, bend your knees, hop your feet to your hands. <laughs> Inhale, lift up halfway. Exhale, forward, fold. Bend your knees, now chair pose. Let the arms sweep up to the sky and bring your hands into heart center. We're gonna take a twist. Left elbow comes to the outside of the right thigh. Now watch the knees as it's easy for that left knee to pop forward. So keep that left knee drawing back. We're going to take a side crow today. So I want you to drop onto your toes as you lift up the heels. You're going to keep the arms where they are. Now, if you're nervous about this, or you do have a block, you can bring your block in front of you 
That might be a way to know that you're not going to face plant. Your hands are in line with the side of your mat. Make sure that the left elbow is to the outside of the right thigh. Bring your heart forward over the block. And then maybe the knees stack and float on top of each other. Maybe you can split the legs, keeping the elbows chaturanga. Last breath. Exhale, come back to center. Forward fold, let it go. Widen your feet, grab your big toes. Lift up, Padagustasana. Bend your elbows to the side and let your head relax. Lift the city bones a little bit higher. Fold them a little bit deeper. And then we'll come to the other side. Start to heel toe the feet so the toes connect, but you have a little bit of space in the heels. Chair pose, inhale. Hands to heart center, exhale, twist. Right elbow to the left, outside of the thigh. Watch the right knee that it doesn't pop forward. Side crow on the left. So again, keeping the hands wide in the fingertips. They're in line with the long side of the mat. Send your heart forward, bend your elbows. Bend the knees, stack the feet. Maybe split the legs. And then slowly come back to center. We'll take gorilla pose. So lift the toes of the right foot, slide your right hand underneath. Lift the toes of your left foot. And let your feet massage your wrists here. As you breathe, feel the circle of energy all the way from the bottoms of the feet circulating up behind and coming all the way back down to the top of the head, through the arms, and back down into the feet. Release the feet. Take your hands at your waist. Squeeze the elbows, and on the inhale, rise all the way up to stand. And so we're going to take figure four for a balance pose today. It's warm here today, so I am sweating buckets. I'm not sure about how you are doing at home. I want you to bend your knees, and we're going to take figure four. So take your left leg and cross it on top of that thigh. Keep your left foot active, and then you can keep your heart space lifted. Press equally into the hands. I want you to think, send the sitting bones back. See if you can keep the heart lifted, but see if you can come down a little bit lower. And then I want you to reach the arms to me. Like offer your gifts. Connect to your true nature and what makes you happy. Bring your hands back to heart center. And we'll stand up nice and easy. Tadasana, mountain pose. Can you get taller in your posture? Can you stand up and let the back of the crown of the head lift up? Breathing into the back body. We'll switch sides, figure four, right leg comes on top. Again, keeping the feet crossed. Find a focal point. Let your sitting bones go back and your heart space move forward. And if you lose your balance, just like I did, it's so awesome that you could just come right back into it. Like we know we're gonna fall. We know we're gonna fall in these balance poses. We know we're gonna fall in life. It's how we react to the falls. And then slowly come back to center. Tree pose, Vikshasana. So I want you to take your foot either down to the ground, to your calf, or grow that foot above the knee. Interlace the fingers and stretch the heels of the hands up to the sky. Let those toes point down. Now feel the side bodies elongating higher. Beautiful. In our 
yoga tree. And then exhale, switch sides. Rikshasana tree pose. Option one to the ground. But just make sure that you're like not like dancing with your hips. Make sure that you're grounded, you're lifting up and out of your hip, even as you grow that foot. Interlace the opposite way. So go one finger over. So I want you to think about this shape, just like their first pose that we began. I want you to lift from the pelvis today, all the way up through the spine, that Shishumna channel, that central axis, opening up all those channels in the body. Last breath. Good job. Hands to heart center. All right, we're gonna flow one more time before we start to come to the ground. Sweep the arms all the way up to the sky. Inhale, look up, open the heart. Exhale, forward fold. Lift up halfway, hop back, vinyasa. Upward dog, inhale. Downward dog, exhale. Now, bring your toes to connect. Let your left heel draw to the earth. And then I want you to send that right leg behind you, three-legged dog. Now make as much space in your body as you can today in this shape. Now bend your right knee, draw your right heel to your glute. Now make more space in this shape as you open up your hip. So ground the fingers into the earth, feel the knuckle pads ground down and then stretch that right knee away from those knuckle pads. Send your right knee, tap your right elbow, pause and hold. Stretch your right leg back, three-legged dog. Come underneath the body now and twist. Now hold your twist today. Some of you, this is gonna be a new pose for us. I want you to stretch your right leg to the left side of your mat. Keep your hands grounded, feel the squaring of the body. Now ground the left leg and then start to open the heart space, draw the right shoulder down your back and then feel the whole front of your body opening up. Last breath, pull the right knee into the center and then we're gonna quietly step that right foot into crescent lunge. So right knee, give it some room. So instead of like being so narrow on your train track, maybe walk your right foot just a tad to the right. Now press into the ball of the foot and we'll inhale, rise, crescent lunge. Now I want you to hook your thumbs I want you to lift the side bodies and keep lifting the chest up. And then slowly taking the hands, reach the arms all the way up to the sky. I want you to start to straighten the back leg as the arms sweep down and step it in slightly. We're gonna set up for pyramid pose. Take your hands behind your back body. Make reverse namaste with the hands. Let the cart spread wide, collarbone spread wide. Lean back. And now I want you to just bring your heart just halfway forward. Feel the inner thighs hugging towards each other. And as you do that, notice how that right hip draws back and the left heart hip moves forward. Take one more breath. And then I want you to come up to stand. Take your right hand to your waist and stretch the left arm all the way up to the sky. Now, you may want your blocks here. This is why I have the blocks here today. We're gonna come back to this halfway lift, but we're going to take a half revolve trikonasana, revolve triangle. So your left hand can either come to your block, inside or outside. 
lengthen the heart, and then start to turn and twist, just like we did at the beginning of class, and then maybe the right arm can float up to the sky. Take one more breath, twist a little bit more, and then I want you to send your arms forward. So if you cannot touch the earth with your hands, as far forward, like here I'm tenting my fingers, making little cupcake hands, then I want you to use your blocks. And I want you to push down with either your hands or your blocks. And now I want you to start to melt and if you're having a really hard time, then I want you to pop that back heel off the ground. And start to fall deeper, letting that hamstring open. Engage through your right quadricep. Lengthen the spine. Last breath. And then I want you to slowly send the heart forward and kick this left leg off the ground. Let go of the right hand like we did at the beginning of class when we reached to the side. Now I want you to start to turn and twist and to revolve half the moon. This left leg, I know I can feel it in my body. It wants to drop down. Stretch it up a little higher. Now we're gonna take this totally opposite into big toe hold twist. So I want you to let go of the right hand, bring the left knee into the chest, stand up tall, see if you can do it without touching down. And then either grab a hold of the outside of that left thigh, reach back, maybe you need to put that foot down, and some of you can take a hold of the big toe and reach that left arm back. One more breath, <laughs> and then release Tadasana. <laughs> All right, my body is calling for dancer pose. So let's take dancer on the other side. So dancer on the right. So bend your right knee, grab a hold of the inside of the foot, stretch the left arm to the sky, and as you bring the heart space forward, get heavy in the right hip, send the right leg back. And then softly release. Take a moment, notice how you feel. Connecting to your true nature. And let's vinyasa, we'll wash that all away. Exhale, forward fold. You can even skip it here and just meet us in dog pose. Inhale, heart lifts. Exhale, high to low. Upward dog. Downward dog. Okay, here we go. Bring your toes to connect. I know you're excited. So let's do this. Float your left leg. I believe in you. You can do this. Stretch that left leg high. Now make more space in the body. In this three-legged dog. Feel the sides getting longer. Feel the arms getting longer. Feel the leg stretching wide. Bend your knee. Drop the left heel to the right glute. Now, lift that left knee higher. Make more space here. Take your left knee, tap your left elbow. Engage your oblique. Stretch the left leg high up and back. Come underneath the body and twist. I want you to think of something like a cleanse, like a brag, squeezing out mentally, physically, emotionally, straighten the left leg so it's off the right side of your mat. Now flatten the right foot like you're standing and then stretch the right arm and let your whole front of your heart open up.
Let the hand come back down the middle. Pull the knee into the chest, squeeze, and step it through. Crescent lunge. Back heel high. Find your feet placement first. No rush. Inhale. Always want to find the foundation. Hook your other thumbs. Lift and open up the heart space. Sink into that leg. And then slowly let go of the hands. Straighten through the back leg. Step it in. Reverse namaste. And if you cannot have a hard time with this, just take knuckles to your lower back. Widen your collarbones. Lift the heart. Lean back. Exhale. Fold halfway. We're only going halfway. Pull your belly up and in to support your back. Inhale, rise up. Left hand to the waist. Right hand stretches up. Stretch it up like it's an antenna. Like what are you attracting in your life here? What makes you happy? Right? Think about the most creative people in the world. Philosophers, artists. They've taken time in solitude. And then we'll take our half rotating twist revolve triangle so again you have your blocks here so you can put it to the inside and you have different heights as well I'm going to take mine to the outside today lengthen the heart pull the left tip back start to turn and rotate and twist Last breath in your revolve triangle. And then exhale, bend your left knee. Maybe hands come to your block. And then start to send that right leg behind you. Just like we did at the beginning in that spinal balance. Take your left hand out to the side. You're all prepped and ready for this. Revolved half moon. Last breath. And remember, we're going to come to stand into that big toe twist. So see if you can pull the right knee up without touching down. Right arm reaches behind you. Grab the outside of the thigh. Or maybe you can yogi toe lock that big toe. And slowly release. Dancer pose, left side. Bend your left knee towards your glute. Reach that hand to the inside of the foot. Arch the arms to the sky. Get heavy into that left hip. And then start to really just let your dancer shine yeah. outward. And slowly release, come back to center. Sweep the arms all the way up to the sky. Your last vinyasa of class. Exhale, forward fold. Halfway lift, inhale. Exhale, half back. Upward dog, inhale. Downward dog, exhale. Great work. Drop the knees down for Ustrasana camel pose. So keep the toes curled under. Now I'm going to give you an option. If you do have books or blocks, I want you to put something in between the inner thighs to hug in. That's option one. Hands come again behind that lower back. As the knuckles press down, draw those elbows towards each other, 
and send the string of the heart up to the sky. And maybe this is your camel pose today. Keep squeezing the block in the inner thighs. As you do that, I know that allows that pelvis to draw forward, and then you're not crunching into your lower back. If your body is inclined to go further, maybe the right hand comes to the ankle, maybe stretch one arm at a time. If you are allowing your body says to go more, then take both hands to your ankle. Open up through the throat, or keep the chin tucked in if you have neck issues. Three full body cycles in your Ustrasana. And then slowly release. If you have the block, go ahead, remove the block, and drop the hips down towards the heels. Open the arms out to the side, and we'll take eagle arms. Right arm underneath the left, or just hug your shoulders. Lift the elbows up to the sky, and then elbows draw in and contract. Again, lift the elbows away from the belly. Now draw the elbows into the belly. One more time. Inhale. And then exhale. Release the arms and we'll switch sides. Left arm underneath the right, taking your eagle wrap. Elbows up to the sky. Inhale. Elbows draw to the belly. Exhale. Again, inhale. Elbows high. Exhale, crunch, bring the ribs into the hips, open up through the upper back, spread and open up through the back body. Last time, inhale, and then exhale. So that should feel so good, opening up through the upper shoulders and opening up through the chest. We're going to come into Navasana boat pose. So maybe walk the knees up a little bit towards the center of your mat and bring the legs forward. Hands come either to the ground or maybe floating the legs up. Now squeeze those inner thighs together and lift the chest. Maybe you wanna go for a full boat today with the legs straight. We're gonna come to half boat. I want you to take your arms out wide today if you can. And then exhale, come up full boat. Take the arms, open up, exhale, draw it up. Ardha Navasana, inhale, exhale, full Navasana. Two more, inhale, connect your breath, exhale. That's what's gonna get you through. Last one. Now fullest expression, reach up. And then exhale, release. Double pigeon. Gosh, we've been doing double pigeon for a long time. So if double pigeon is not available in the hips, then I want you to just come to where we started in this easy seat. If you can take double pigeon, it's like fire logs. You're stacking the feet and the legs. Watch this outside ankle, making sure that it's to the outside of the knee. Now let your sitting bones melt to the earth, elongate through the crown. Now if you have your books or your blocks, I want you, just like we did in that pyramid pose, start to lengthen your spine. So your arms are like super long and strong, and I want you to just notice if you're gripping your jaw. If you're clenching your teeth, if you're rolling your eyes at me, <laughs> I want you to close your eyes and breathe into the hips. Maybe a mantra today is I am centered. I am grounded. 
I am alive. I am centered. I am grounded. And I am alive. Two more breaths. And slowly start to roll up. And we'll switch sides. So taking the other leg on top now. So I had my right leg on top. I'm going to switch now with my left leg. Keep your feet flexed. Wake up through the toes, right? And we're not, you know, each side is different. So no judgments. So this side, I'm probably going to go a little higher with my blocks. That's okay. But I want you to ground down and just check and see how you feel. Maybe sweep the arms all the way up. Let's bring your shoulders up to the ears, like purposely. Draw this like stress and tension that you are taking in, maybe worry, fear for the unknown. And then I want you to let the shoulders melt and then start to send the arms forward into your fold. So if your hips are really open, <laughs> you're probably going to bring your chest a little bit more forward similar to what we did in the standing version of our pigeon today. But if you're like me, once you come to the ground, I'm feeling it here. So I want you to just feel all of these shapes. As long as you can keep your breath going smoothly and calmly, and you can feel something, then you're you, uniting, yoking, is what yoga means. And that's where the transformation happens. So right now I see all these home fitness videos going on. And people will text me and they'll say, check this out. And I'm like, you know, I've gone down that road years ago. And when I started teaching yoga, this was the first time in all of my fitness career that I could find something that actually calmed what we call chitta vritti, the monkey mind. The first time I was able to make space in my mind. And so that's what differentiates our yoga practice. I am centered, I am grounded, and I am alive. And then slowly release. Ah. Let's take the legs into Vadakanasana and come on down, opening up to those inner thighs and the groins. I want you to take your left hand to the heart and the right hand to the belly. We're gonna work a little bit of pranayam. And we're gonna work a square breath. So I want you to inhale for four, hold the breath for four, exhale for four, and keep the breath out for four. So let's try it. Inhale for four. Hold the breath and retain. Exhale slowly. Keep the breath out. Inhale four counts. Hold and retain the breath. Exhale, let it go. Keep the breath. 
breath out. Last breath, inhale. Hold the breath. Exhale, let it go. Keep the breath out. We're going to finish just with a gentle twist. So take the knees to the left. Take the arms out to the right. Take the knees back to center. Switch sides, knees to the right, arm to the left. And then our last symmetrical pose, either shoulder stand or happy baby. I'm going to give you the option or legs up the wall. If you're by a wall, maybe slide your mat to a wall and maybe finish with legs up the wall today. One of my favorite poses. Any last pose that your body's just craving, please take it now. Otherwise, we'll set up for final relaxation. Squeeze everything into a tight ball. Squeeze your face. Bring your chest up to your thighs. And then melt it onto the mat. Ah. Let's open the mouth on our final exhale as we collectively join in our breaths. Inhale. Open mouth, side out. Otherwise, slowly take a full body stretch, arms reaching over your body, stretching. And then take the knees over to the side for a moment. Connecting with your true nature, this is such a wonderful time, and especially when we roll up on the mat, that we're able to connect with ourselves and find really that little voice inside us, that true nature, that true calling that we can access. So it is from my heart to your heart that I'm so happy that you joined me today on the yoga mat. Please make sure to like this video and share it with others. 
and then until the next time, let's sweep the arms all the way up, reach up, gather this good energy and honor your true nature. Take those masks off and be your true self. We need it for the world. Namaste.